approximately 300 juniors and seniors from all five of our high schools traveled to Virginia Wesleyan University for the annual Tidewater Post Secondary Fair. This amazing event, which is sponsored by our school counseling department, featured over 85 vendors from trade schools, colleges, and universities. Students had the chance to visit multiple tables and ask representatives a wide variety of questions. This is an opportunity for students to come explore. I noticed a lot of students were excited. I saw one young lady who was excited when she asked me, was Spelman here? And she jumped up. We were, um, some students were excited to have Virginia Tech, Norfolk State, ODU. So they were really glad to see different universities come out to allow them to ask different questions. So I'm actually an alum of Princeton University, and I'm here trying to make sure to get these young people excited about going to college and coming to Princeton University. All the college counselors should be so proud of their students and it's going so well. The kids are excited and asking these wonderful questions and really looking forward to their future. I feel like a lot of students are kind of excited about it, including me. I think it's going to help me a lot, really. It's going to at least give me like ideas on what school I should go to and like what should I really like, what career I should follow. I feel good. I feel amazing. I'm happy. I love this because like, I really want to go to college. I see a successful life for me and this give me success. It give me an urge of like, yes, you can do this no matter what. I'm going to be like the first person in my own family to go to college and I'm excited. A follow up to the story we had last month about free eye exams at Sherwood Forest Elementary. Students recently received their glasses and a case courtesy of Homer Optical and Essilor. Today is the real rewarding part when you see the expression on the kids' faces, um, the reaction they have, it's just wonderful. For some children with some higher prescriptions that didn't know they needed glasses to begin with, it's a whole new world. You know, they've, they've lived their life thinking that the world's blurry, um, but uh, you know, you put the glasses on them and it's like a light bulb goes off over their heads. Out of the 107 exams performed, 59 glasses were handed out. For these children, it was a big day. Simply because children being able to see properly are going to learn better, uh, they're going to feel more confident in, them, in themselves. Um, it's, you know, it's like I said, a whole new world for them. Approximately 300 middle school students with exceptional needs took over Lake Taylor High School's football stadium for this year's Big Feet Meet. This event, in partnership with Special Olympics, allowed these young people to participate in a variety of physical activities. Volunteers from ODU and the Norfolk Sheriff's Department were on hand to assist and cheer the students on to victory. Well, the beauty is this is Disability History and Awareness Month in October, and so we hope that they learn the importance of inclusion or at least have an opportunity to practice that and live that out today, make new friends, include everyone, and just realize that inclusion is not about just including the differently abled person, but you get something out of making sure that you're kind and including all as well. well we're out here supporting a Big Feats event uh, for Special Olympics. It's uh, got a warm place in my heart to come out and support these kind of events and uh, recognize the idea of inclusion and the idea of us all learning from each other. It's a, it's a big deal. It's so fun. I mean, the, the smiles on everyone's faces, they not only did they get to uh, cut out of class for the day, but they got to come out on a beautiful day to take part in some activities with their peers. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people will go home with some fun memories of the day. Um, it's just an overall, it's, it's just a fantastic day. Fall season for middle school sports is in the books, and by all accounts, it was a successful one. This year, Norfolk uh, Middle School League started uh, the second week of September. Uh, we had new a new season format where we moved some uh, athletic opportunities uh, around. Uh, so this year in the fall, uh, we had our um, co-ed tennis, uh, we had boys soccer, and our traditional football. Uh, and softball um, seasons um, uh, have been held. Moving co-ed tennis and boys soccer to the fall had its benefits. A couple reasons for the changes. One, um, we're looking to trying to get more participation uh, from student athletes uh, in, in, on these teams. Uh, and, and another big reason for a change is coaching. Um, trying to um, 
did a number of different coaches uh, uh, where we had some issues last year, some challenges, uh, some vacancies. So we feel uh, moving some of these uh, athletic opportunities, sports around, uh, is going to enable us to attract some coaches and get more student athletes involved. We are back to normal times in athletics. Um, so it was a, obviously last year was our, our return. Previous year they missed a season. So um, we're operating uh, under normal conditions and, and things have gone uh, pretty smooth in, in that aspect. Congrats to all our participants and champions.